looking for ideas for costumes for a fancy dress competition. I need to wear something new, something I haven't done before. So I was going through my old costumes for all the fancy dress competitions I have won. And I realized that they are all of different time periods. Look at them. The first time I dressed up as a prehistoric human. Then I tried an Egyptian costume. Then an ancient Chinese costume and so on. They all are so different and spread across different time periods. But nothing like what you and I wear, right? That's because so much has happened over the centuries in the field of clothing. The story of clothing is a very old and interesting one. Let's unravel the thread of the story. Early humans had little use for clothing as they mostly lived in hot climates. So, they used leaves and barks of trees to cover themselves. As we humans started to migrate from one place to another, they moved from warm places to colder regions. What do you think happened then? Well, to survive, they hunted animals to eat and used their skins and furs to cover themselves from the harsh environment. Later on, as people began to settle in agricultural communities, they learned to weave twigs and grass into baskets, fences and mats. Vines, animal fleece or hair were twisted together into long strands which were woven into fabrics that helped the people to stay warm. In ancient Egypt, plant fibers like cotton and flax were cultivated near the river Nile and were used for making fabrics. Around the same time, the people who lived around the Ganges wore fabrics made out of cotton that grew in their region. Around 2700 BC, the Chinese found a way to obtain silk from silkworms. They also learned the art of dyeing different fabrics. Since tailoring was not common in those days, people mostly draped the fabrics around different parts of their body. We have come a long way from there. Funny, isn't it? To think of all the different types of clothes that we have today. But some fabrics, we still drape them without stitching. Sari, dhoti, turban, all of these are still worn unstitched. But these clothes have their own way of being draped. So to make things easier, we came up with other ideas. Let's go back to the thread. With the invention of the sewing needle, people started stitching fabrics to make clothes. And since then, clothing has taken a lot of twists and turns and has become a very important part of our culture and identity. In the 1930s, things took a big turn when an American chemist named Wallace Corothers created the first completely synthetic fiber. That synthetic material is nylon, which is completely man-made. It was made as a replacement to silk in the time of the Second World War, as synthetic fibers were cheaper and easier to make. And it did not stop there. We still keep adding and improving clothes and fabrics as they are very important to us. They protect our body from rough weather, the heat and the cold. And not just clothes to wear. Things like bags, bed sheets, blankets and others also have made our lives easier. The next time you see a new piece of fabric, think of how far the story of clothes have come and how they have become a part of all of our lives and culture. Different cultures took up their own clothing. And the story doesn't end here. It will go on and on with many more twists and turns. Hmm, what do I do for the next fancy dress? Oh, I know!
know what I should do? I should dress up in a futuristic costume. What would that look like? Think of how they would be. And remember, we stay curious. Please.